Joe and Telly. So we decided, didn't we? If they're blockading us, we're going to blockade them. Yes, here's what's coming up in this morning's French Free Show. There it is, French Free this morning. Uh, but he'll be out and about this morning. There'll be no French fishermen to restrict his freedom of movement. Uh, yes, Mike McLean. Uh, well, I hope I'll be blockaded in for a very long time. <laughs> so I'm very excited. You're the coolest man on the planet. Yes, it is uh, the one, the only Samuel L. Jackson. Yes, Samuel L. Jackson in the house. But let's kick it off with news, information, weather, and sport. Here's the gorgeous Gemma Woodman. There she is, the gorgeous thing. Hi, Gemma. You all right? Very well. Are you looking forward to Samuel L. Jackson, the coolest man in the universe? Oh, yeah. For him this morning. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's let's crack on before I get myself into trouble. Uh, I believe there is a cry in the house. Uh, is ah. <laughs> it's time for the papers. Uh, we will do the headlines first. Uh, Linton is who was apparently uh, filmed uh, having a was it? still stunned that his wife dumped him. There you go. Yeah, with, with Dwight York apparently. What's that? Oh, there's a fantastic photograph inside. Of, yes. Of Yorkie and 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 Mark Bosnich and things going on with Mark Bosnich. Well, I can't say. It's if you want to know by the paper, I have to say, as a Manchester United supporter, I think two of them are legends. There should be more of it. And his wife doesn't know what she's making. We move on to uh, the. D there you go. As thousands of stranded British holidaymakers are uh, set to queue nearby. Is that the right, right pronunciation there? Yeah. 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 Who, who basically looks like a big French. Yeah. Uh, apparently what's happened is that there isn't a French dispute at all. Uh, the big bloke just stuck his belly in front of all the caravans oh, and lorries coming across. Yeah. Stuck it in uh, the... What he's actually said, right? This is uh, why apparently we hate the French. Uh, the English are always so selfish, is what he said. Oh, if their holiday has been ruined, they should feel that it's because of a good cause and stop moaning oh, no. about it. If they do not take this action, then people will walk over us and we can't allow this to happen. The English people do not strike anymore because they are cowards. Yes. Nothing else to say about that. It's just my duty to stoke up uh, that sort of hatred when, uh, with England playing France <laughs> in a game at the weekend. Just thought I'd just stir that up. Just as any people travelling over there, they just hate them a little bit more. Uh, we move on to... Makes me chuckle. Uh, a weeping Anthea Turner said she'd no uh, It says that her and her new hubby, Grandpa, we eating chocolate would be released. When I saw the picture, I felt sick. There you go. For the Mars bar. At least it's not a Mars bar. Otherwise, it's possibly, <laughs> possibly, possibly saved for the honeymoon, Richard. There you go. The damage is done, though. The damage is done. Uh, celebrities all over the country will now be getting their wedding sponsored by various people. I think that's a good idea. We should just do more. Have the, have the priest done up like a Formula One driver with little logos and stuff like that all over him. This wedding is brought to you by Continental Tires. Oh, Works for me. Good. Okay, uh, it's time, kids, now to... We start with a belter in the Daily Mail uh, this morning, a golden chance to lose weight. In Berlin, a Big Brother-style game show in which contestants compete to lose weight will be screened on German television oh, next year. Uh, Big Diet is the name of the show. <laughs> well, for weight people, five men, five women, each living together for 13 weeks. Each week, one, the one that loses the least will be chucked out of the house. There you go. Right? What a fantastic idea. The winner will eventually receive their total weight loss in pure gold. Wow. <laughs> the house will contain a swimming pool, sauna, exercise machines, but the producers have also put in some sneaky traps. They put in fridges and cupboards full of sausages, cakes, <laughs> pies, and ice cream. Nasty Nick will be in there passing around. No, it's not, really. It's low fat. It's low fat. <laughs> it's fat, fat free. Uh, big, big diet. Uh, they're going to have another version with people from the Jay Springer show called Big Mama and another show with sad wrestlers from the 1970s. <laughs> big Daddy. There you go. Uh, so that's it. Only in Germany. Let's see that on coming to a screen near you. Uh, in the sun, uh, we have another. We have another one of these uh, sort of vegetables that looks like a cartoon character or a person. I'm just getting a wee bit sick of this, right? It says, uh, "Housewife Julie Halliwell went peanuts when she found one of her spuds was a dead ringer for Snoopy." Right? Potato <laughs> with a lump on it. It is not Snoopy. Okay. 
right? Uh, and now what they're going to do, they're actually going to frame the picture of the potato. They're going to frame the potato. Robert, her husband, said, my eyes nearly popped out of my head when I saw it. Wow. She, she, it's a cook. She works miracles in the kitchen, but this is her best yet. There you go. Robert, of course, confusing the fact that it's a raw potato, which was actually naturally made in the ground. There you go. He obviously thinks, let's just cook that up. Stunned. You're stunned. Yeah. You think it looks like Snoopy? Yeah? Uh, it looks like a spud to me, okay? Uh, we crack on with a very gruesome story. A uh, reveler's agony as a door hook pierces his eye. Oh. A late night drinking session left a young man feeling more than a little hungover after staggering back from his local pub. Tipsy John Murphy fell against his door. Him oh. impaled oh. on the metal here apparently the point of his eye right it, the point of the hook actually pierced his eyelid oh, and left jobs no, to stop no, his no, eye no, we love it stop. alone in the house he turned on a cd player before heading for a pizza in an outhouse uh, on his way back he slipped on the front door caught on the hook which had been put there to hang up a christmas decoration he howled for help <laughs> Merry ho, ho, ho! Um, he howled for help, but the music from inside drowned out his cries. <laughs> he said it felt like someone had stuck their finger right down my eye. No, it didn't. It felt like someone had stuck a hook on your eye. Look, not painful. There you go. Uh, and I like this. this the, his last little line was, I was quite drunk. Now, when, when, no, no, right? How razzled are you when you're quite drunk? Absolutely eh? drowned. Absolutely off his trolley. There he is. He's a legend. His eyesight is fine. We're very, very happy with that. Uh, we're going to have to leave it there, but quickly, uh, gambler Kerry Packer. Wow. Uh, Australian Business uh, Weekly Review, he was gambling in Las Vegas. It says that uh, the loss of 13.6 million is the equivalent of a man with three grand losing 14 quid. That's how rich he is. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Apparently, he was sitting beside a man uh, who said to him, uh, he was getting a lot of attention from the waitresses. He said, uh, I'm worth 100 million, said the oil man. Uh, pretending to be really impressed, Kerry Packer said, 100 million? He said, yes, sir. He said, I'll toss you for it. That's how much money Packer is worth. He is worth something like... Billions. What? Billions. 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 Yeah, so, yeah, something like billions. lots of money. Billions and billions. Yeah. billions. We, we haven't got that highlighted. There's no way Cutie's going to find it. He will bail out of the pay-per-view now. Before <laughs> no, hang on, just for a minute. He's never going to find it. Uh, that is the papers. Go <laughs> <laughs> on, Kerry. <laughs> Nice as Kerry Packer. Then I think you also enter our competition. Started! <laughs> as you catch us chatting here in the Big Breakfast, we pride ourselves in celebrating those rare and gifted individuals who are outstanding, extra special, even exceptional in their field. Oh, or to put do. it quite simply, the best. Yes, indeed, this morning we, uh, we don't have one, we don't have two, but we have three people in the house who are simply the best yeah. at their own particular yeah. challenge. Yeah. It is up to you, the viewers at home, to choose who is simply the best of the best. The best. The best. It's you who decides. First up, we have uh, Peter Tomlin. Usual numbers. Oh, there you go. God, size that Mara's made me quite flustered. Super. Right, our next hopeful is uh, simply the best. Champion porridge maker. Is that, is that a slow hand clap? Then <laughs> tries to get a round of applause around the house and fails miserably. Uh, uh, finally, we have Mark Hughes. <laughs> who the best. So get his phones, faxes, and emails coming in. Remember, you decide who is the best of the best. Oh, yeah. There you go. Uh, okay, that's coming up a little later. But now it's the competition among those three. It's going to be pretty hot. Uh, so now here it is. The sizzler. Welcome back to Big Breakfast. It's Thursday, the 31st of August. I am Patrick Cooley eating an apple. Yeah. And I'm Lisa Rogers. Finish that mouthful. Right, okay. this morning we've been offering you at home the chance to choose which simply the best contender you'd like to see us chat to later in the show. Yes. Here are your choices. Uh, the choices are Peter Tomlin. How are we doing on the leaderboard? Well, if I rip off these little sticky patterns, those percentages then get Cheers phoning. Let's Give us a call. Okay, but uh, in the meantime, here's what's still to come on this morning's show. Hey! Coolest man in the history of the universe. Okay, plus sensational R&B star Samantha Mumba. She's oh, oh, Samantha Mumba. Plus Mr. Richard Bacon. He's going to be with us. But now it's over to our very own news cutie. It's Gemma Whitman. Big breakfast news and weather. Yeah. Uh, pull them in the urn and we see how many you've got. The world record at the moment is 13. Held by Martin Clunes and set on Tuesday this week. Yes. Yes. 13. Full, 13. What, full cups of tea. Full cups yeah. of tea. No spillage whatsoever. Yeah, no but it's, a, it's very rare. Okay. Spillage is one of my problems, actually. 
Always happy. Always happy. We'll, we'll look out for that, Richard. Good luck. Right, let's go to callers. Leslie, hello. Hiya. From Essex. What part of Essex are you calling from? Hornchurch. Hornchurch. Lovely. Right. You've seen Mr. Richard Fairbrass. He yeah, looks very looks... star -un. I'm going to say seven. Boycotting the French. The little <laughs> five yeah, French bits yeah. are going to have to go. Good idea. There we are. Seven. All right, let's... next up is Peter. Hello, Peter. Hello. He hello. <laughs> Richard Pat got 12. Martin Clunes got 13. Well, the Richards could, you know, could be. And next up, we've got uh, Richard. Excuse in my. In Scotland. In Scotland. Yeah. I'm sorry, my geographical knowledge is very poor. You don't sound like you've got a Scottish accent. Sorry? You don't sound like you've got a Scottish accent. No, I'm from Yorkshire originally. Nah, uh, that'll be why. There's always a clue. How many cups of tea do you. <laughs> yes, Grant just said whip it in a particularly non stereotypical type fashion. Whip How many cups of tea do you think that. You are not quite as confident there. No. A conservative with a small C6. <laughs> Best of luck, Richard. Now it's over to Richard and Patrick for start.